I'm going to go into a specialist meant we could look at preventive measures. She started on Montelukast, which is a powder that you put into a drink that she would need to take twice a day. She ended up back in hospital soon after that, so we realised that the Montelukast wasn't doing any good. Each time after Skylar has an asthma attack, she is given a steroid called prednisolone. Prednisolone look like these. They're five milligrams that she was needing. And she would need to take one of these for a course of three days. They are tiny little pink soluble tablets that Skylar hates the taste of. But these are fantastic. If your child does suffer severely from asthma, I really can recommend prednisolone. When Skylar is having an asthma attack, we do have an asthma plan. She takes her blue inhaler, which is salbutamol. So this is her the blue inhaler that she needs to take when she is feeling wheezy. So this is not a preventer, this is when she is feeling wheezy. And um, in Skylar's case, she has to have three puffs of this. If there is no improvement within 15 minutes, then she needs to take five puffs of this. If there is still no improvement after 15 minutes, then she needs 10 puffs of this and we call an ambulance. We have never succeeded with just giving her her blue inhaler and her being absolutely fine and not having to go to the hospital each time we have had to take her to the hospital. Skylar started off with her preventer being clenial modulite, which is 50 milligrams, that th that's this one. And she did used to have to take this two times in the morning and two times in the evening, which is her preventer. We found that one wasn't working. As the 50 milligrams was not working, it clearly wasn't strong enough for Skylar. She had her dosage increased to 100 mcg, which is the dark brown. We've had this now reduced to one puff in the morning and one puff in the evening for spring and summer and then she still has two puffs in the morning, two puffs in the evening for winter and autumn. We get, they're the seasons when she gets more cold. Skylar had this as her spacer, which is the normal spacer that most doctors will give you for your child. When Skylar's pumps, her preventers weren't working, we was advised to give her one puff of her blue before she moves on to have her brown. This is to make sure her airways are going to be opening enough to get the brown preventer in because they thought that maybe she wasn't getting it in. However, we visited a new hospital, feeling braver and going on holiday, we ended up being in Stoke and visiting Stoke University Hospital. I cannot tell you how amazing that hospital is. We learned so much and we actually spoke to our first ever asthma nurse. She was fantastic. They do say everything happens for a reason. Skylar definitely had an asthma attack that holiday so we could visit this hospital. We learned so much. That asthma nurse gave Skylar this spacer. Definitely not as cute, definitely not great for your handbag, definitely not travel size, even though you can break it into pieces. But this has been an absolute saviour. When Skylar takes her pump through this spacer, you know that she is inhaling her preventer because it clicks as she breathes. So since taking this, we only need to give her a, her brown preventer. We do not need to give her a blue inhaler first. So if any of you are being told that you should be using this spacer, ask for this one. This one is so much better. You know your child is taking it. And also if you're being told to take the blue before taking the brown because they're not getting it in, it might be they're just holding their breath which is what we found Skylar was doing. We put this over her mouth the first time she was having her inhaler and the nurse said to me, see, you can see that she is not taking any of her preventer in. 
she's holding her breath but she's so young you can't tell her to really not do that or even know when she is so when she takes this one we know she's definitely taken it mm -hmm. 